And now we're going to visit an old classic, a beagle on a motorcycle, or a beagle on a bicycle, take your pick. Normally you would do this out of white, but I'm doing it in gray so you can see it better against this light background. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take and fold over, that's about, probably about a four inch bubble, and then about a half inch, half end of that, we're going to make a bubble there. That's going to be his nose. Now you're going to make two bubbles about two inches. Lock those two together, just like that. That's going to be his head. We'll put it together in a minute. Now you're going to make about a one inch bubble. A bubble just a tiny bit longer. Another bubble the same size as that second one. And then the last bubble the same size as that one there. That's going to be his hands and the handlebars. Now you're going to make about an inch and a half to two inch bubble for his body. As you can see, if you look at that bubble, it's about the same, almost the length of those together. Now we're going to make a little small pinch twist. Now back wheel, just make a fold twist. So that you get the wheel. Now, that's about three fingers or so on my hand. Now we're going to make another little small, about an inch and a half bubble. And we're going to make a little small bubble on the end of that. Make that into a fold twist. And then tuck the small one on the end up through his arms. I'm going to spin it around and lock it in place. Back in cleats completes the bite. Now let's pull his head together. You're going to take this long bubble and wrap it up over the two fold twists. And I'm going to give it a squeeze to kind of stretch it out and then just tuck on the other side, push it back into it to hold his head in the place. You will have to push it up in there so it'll stay. And when you do that, that forces that head to take shape. This is an old classic, a beagle on a bicycle.